Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wahal Kadash, double honors to the elder the elder apostles of Great Millstone out of New York who rule well. The the elders and apostles who taught us this truth. Alright. Shalom to them and double honors. Alright. Shalom and salutation to the Akim out there presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice, as the scriptures say, day in and day out, week in and week out, all right, to push this gospel and to usher in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Shalom to those brothers, and shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is Brother Yamaya from the Great Millstone, Chicago, camp. Just uh, basically wanted to touch on something, and I was just meditating on the fear of the Lord. You know, like the Apostle Paul said, um, through the terror of the Lord, do we persuade men? And we know why we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, all right? We know that we indebt us, all right, to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Most High and the Son. We know that we serve Him, all right, because we want salvation. We want salvation because we have faith, so we look for salvation. But part of having faith is the fear of the Lord, man. That is that is love, all right? To know that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Will, will brutally judge you for not keeping his ways and he will judge the world with his son and, and the elect and the angels very soon okay this is um this is Sirach or Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha it says um uh, the fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness Sirach 1 and 11 they said the fear of the Lord is honor so the fear of Yahweh is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of Yahweh make it merry, make it a merry heart and give it joy and gladness and a long life. Whoso feared Yahweh, it shall go well with him at the last. And that's what we're looking for. And he that find favor, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. So to be well with you, whether you live or die, if you fear Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, uh, verse 14, this is my point. To the fear, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Because this truth is all about the elect. It said it was created, this wisdom was created. This fear factor, all right, was created with the faithful in the womb. Just like um, in Exodus, the 20th chapter, all right, when you go back into that, when um, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, he revealed the, the secrets to Moses. He gave him the commandments, and the people were so scared. They said, oh, shit. You know, they didn't, I'm not saying, it, you know, don't quote me on that. You know, I'm just getting, you know, into the picture. You know, they were scared, man. They was, oh, man, oh, man, you know, this it's the Lord. We didn't want to talk to him. They said they didn't want to talk to the Lord. They wanted to talk to Moses, all right, because the Lord made a scene, man, and he, put, and he spooked them, as we say. He spooked them, man. All right. And they knew, you know, to be serious when the Lord showed up and showed out, man. Because, uh, but a lot of them went off, man. They still went after that. They worshiped the golden calf. They said, these be the gods that deliver you out of Egypt. But when the Lord was there and he was showing up and he was showing out, they had that fear factor on them and they wanted to do everything right. So we got to always keep that fear factor before our eyes. All right. Okay, but that comes with faith, and, and having faith is what the elect of Israel has on this side. The rest of Israel, the two-thirds, they don't have faith. They don't believe the Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, going to judge this, this place. All right? That's why he told the prophet Jeremiah, what? Before who, who is indeed one of the elect? He said, before I created you in the womb, I knew thee. That's why I'm going to read this over. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. It said, the fear of the Lord... Is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. All right. This is Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1 and 7 said the same thing, which validates the Apocrypha. Because a lot of these scriptures, you can go back and forth in the Apocrypha. Like, uh, you can link that Tobit with the book of Kings. All right. When you speak of Shalmanazar with the book of Isaiah. You know how Judy, it was, you, you could go to the book of... Um, the Maccabees, all right, Judas, Judas Maccabees, one of the Maccabean brothers, they, they spoke about, you know, the times of our forefathers, and they went straight into the scriptures, man, to get them hope and faith, man, 
you know, case in point, but the Bible and Apocrypha links up. All right. That was just a side note. Back to the lesson. This is um, Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Only a fucking fool will despise this wisdom and instruction. This is beautiful. Hey, this 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 these commandments. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said, What? If you love me, keep my commandments. He said, These this commandments, this is your wisdom amongst the nations. Alright? This is what makes us shine. This is what gives us the salt. This is what gives us the light. Okay? I think this link up with that Job. Job 28. God, this is Job 28. In, in 28, it said, Unto the man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. All right? And that's, that's, that's when you start. The Lord started dealing with you like it explains in that um, Sirach in the Apocrypha for the first chapter. Okay, it goes all into that. This is, um, let me see. Let me see, Salakia. Where is that? Oh, here you go. Salakia, brothers. Let me grab the scripture real quick. It just dawned on me. Because um, I brought out the point, Exodus 20, about how when they seen the Lord, you know, and they they, they seen the Lord uh, revealing the commandments to Moses and things like that, and he made that great scene, and they were scared, all right? A lot of our people... I are not fearful, and, and, you know, brothers tend to lose that fear. Hey, the Apostle Paul said, through the terror of the Lord, do we persuade men? You can't never lose the fear factor, man. You got to always keep in your head that the Lord will fuck you up. When you're a child, you understand your mother. You understand your mother and your father will fuck you up, so you, you abstain from doing certain things. All right? But um, I was going to get this. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore it, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it will be, it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh, which fear before Him. Hey, and um, that's a point, man. Because you know, I was breaking bread with somebody one day, right? And I knew him in the world. I knew him down there all my life. He was like, hey, man, you remember that time we got into this gym or that gym and, you know, almost died and this and this. And I was like, man, he said, so I know, you know, the Lord watching over me. I said, man, you could have got through all that shit just to hear this message. Just so, you know, because I was breaking a little bread with him, you know. And I said, just to hear this message. And the Lord, what, did what? He preserved your ass for the day of judgment, man. To get those four sword judgments, because the four sword judgments are coming. The mark of the beast is here. Martial law is here. This this country, America, is already in a police state. All right, they're crashing the dollar. the The value of the dollar depreciates day by day, second by second. No more countries want anything to do with this whore. So it ain't nothing else to do with it but turn this place upside down. And then the turning upside down, or should I say right side up? <laughs> but in the turning of this this thing. You know, upside down is this uh, world power that's known as America, this last kingdom, this last, well, this last queendom, you know, that the Israelites will be in, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. In the turning of this down, in the turning up of this thing, man, a lot of Israelites are going to be judged, man, brutally and horribly, man. They're going to be preserved. The Lord knows how to de deliver the righteous, and he knows how to preserve the ungodly for that day of fucking judgment. And that's why you got to have a fear of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah in your heart, man. What did he say in the book of John? If you love me, what? Keep my commandments. You got to keep the commandments of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. No matter what's going on, man. That's why the scriptures say a righteous man in the Apocrypha, it says he feared in all things. All things, man.
you know, how you dealing with your brothers, how you going about your daily life. You know what I'm saying? Is, is, you know what I'm saying? As you chastening yourself, Paul's the apostle Paul said, I both discipline my body and bring it into subjection. That's when I preach to others. I myself should be a, become a castaway. All right. Are you eating of this thing worthily? You got to have that fear factor before you, man. I'm not going to, you know, talk too much more. But hey, man, brothers, you know, you know, don't forget to fear the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will and is judge in this place and these wicked niggas day by day and he's going to give us the kingdom all right because he said he would and, and and having that faith and that wisdom like it said in the apocryphal read it it's created with the faith from the womb be diligent to making your call and election sure man but you got to keep that fear factor in there. But with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect.